Well, I don't know how special Senior Day is in terms of the ceremony. It's, it gives me a chance to kind of poke some fun at the women. But, you know, I think it's, um, you know, I think back to when this originated and we never really wanted to do the, um, the typical Senior Day where you announce, you know, their major and where they're from and maybe parade out their parents. It's, you know, I think when you spend four years with, with them, I think the relationships are developed and I think we, we know each other well enough you know, and for me, like that's um, that's what I would like to reflect on, not simply the degree that they're going to get or the contributions that they made in the pool. So, it, it's it's the least I could do to take some, you know, to organize my thoughts and take some time to to talk candidly about the seniors. Having a homie is a lot of work, and I, we, we don't have them often. And I think that, you know, we don't have, you know, the staff, and you know, we. It, you know, we're not doing it twice a week, you know, throughout the winter. We, we literally have one every 12 months and it requires the rec center to, to, to help out. And then everybody and, um, you know, from you guys and all of our media people to facility peoples and all that stuff. So um, it, it's, it's a lot of work, but obviously I, I think that, you know, we brought out the best in the women today. You know, we think our relays are pretty good, but they need to be better. Um, I think as we head into A10 meet, you know, there's talent um, in the A10, right? It's 11 teams, and you know, arguably, you know, a relay, any any six schools are capable of winning a relay, um, or six different schools are capable of winning a relay. So, you know, we value relays. Relays are going to be important in the next coming weeks. So to be able to see our medley relays step up. And it was exciting. I think it, them being in their home environment with other people finally in the room with them, I think it was inspiring for them. You know, I explained to Sarah that um, you're not supposed to beat a senior on senior day. So I'll let Sarah and Maggie try to uh, work that out in the locker room. But, you know, it's like, you know, we talked in the fall about, you know, pressure and, you know, we talked about individual performances. And one of the things we've identified is that you know, we do have talent on this team and no one person needs to, you know, overload themselves and try to carry more than they're capable of. And I think the juniors, you know, really take that to heart and identify that, you know, we don't have to rely on Maggie to win events, that we're capable of winning events. And when everybody does it, then it actually makes the environment um, far less, you know, frantic and far, far less pressure filled and it allows other people to shine. And, you know, it's no surprise that, you know, Claire and KP and Sarah had a good meet. And they're not the only ones. Abby was great, Medlin was, I mean, really it could go through the whole list. But this event goes to her teammate in lane five, Claire O'Shaughnessy with a 57-34. I think everyone was just really excited to, you know, come together for the seniors. We haven't had a home meet here in a long time and it was just, really exciting way to get ready for conference and get together as a team. Coming off of this meet, have a few things to focus on, a um, couple of things to move forward and think about for conference, and that's the goal right now. O'Shaughnessy keeping her breathing pattern in the flags, floats into the wall for the first place finish. Our 400 medley relay won the event. Uh, I was in the fly leg, and then 200 fly win, uh, 100 free, did well with that. Kind of a fun event for me, and then the 100 fly win as well. I think we had a huge crowd uh, that we didn't really expect, but it was really fun. Uh, I think it kind of helped us through the meet, uh, so the medley relay definitely started things off. I think we were all just super excited to, to celebrate our seniors, and we haven't had a home meet in two years, so we were super excited to come out here and race. Yeah, it was a great day. Um, I think we got that excitement up after the first event and kind of carried it through, um, keeping the energy going with every event after that. And Sarah Green of Richmond will get the win, a 105-40. I was super excited with, with both my swims today um, and just, just went out there and, and tried my best in both of them. I think there's a few things that we can learn from today, just kind of sharpening up some things and um, getting better with the little details, but I think we have two weeks of hard work and then we're ready to race.